What is going on, my friends? Ken the Gamer 04, and welcome back to LA Noir. Uh, we are going to do. Well, we're going to continue the campaign. We are on a marriage made in heaven. Um, sorry that I sound down, depressed, whatever. I feel like complete sh right now, so I, I don't feel good. Uh, my anxiety has been really high the past few days. And it's taking a lot out of me. So I do apologize if I sound tired, bored, um, uh, anything really. But without further ado, let's get going with this cutscene. Oh my god. Um, oh my god, dude. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A oh. hit and run felony at Ray's, Ray's Cafe, Cafe. 208 oh North my Los god. Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I need a drink. Uh, that's... I got the jitters again. I want to make homicide. You know you made it. That's interesting. The canary says he'll sing. I'm going to make my partner drive to uh, raise. I don't want to be rude, but I ain't got time for I gave his wife a tap. I said, don't stare. You're behind the wheel. <laughs> You're behind the wheel. That's funny. Where's it coming from? Mm, that door. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. And Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Wait, were they talking about... Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the last... Okay, okay, okay. All right, I got you. Ray's Cafe, 4.26 a.m. Oh, there's a dead body just strewn right in the middle of the road. Yucky. Look at them old cameras, holy crap. She's smoking. He's cleaning the bar. That dude's drinking. Detectives, over here. Yeah, what's up? Cole Phelps, traffic. What do we what got? Do we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street, car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, um. left Kansas to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. <laughs> right now we're going to take a look around. <laughs> um... Did you see Shannon Perry in the background? She looks like an animatronic, for God's sake. That can't be right. What's up? What do we got? We got a hat here. What's going on with this hat? It, nothing. Maybe? I don't know. He ain't saying much, so I'm going to leave it. I am... I ended on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. I was gonna say I am, however. Well, you should take a look at the body. The poor guy didn't stand a chance. Yuck. Let's go down here. What are we? Oh, what's this we got here? California Fire and Life. Great pressure. Uh huh. Uh huh. 1947. Patterson has life insurance. Yes. Yeah, yes. 16,000. What the F? What do we got in here? Oh, what's this? Patterson. Patterson. We'll notify next of kin. Interesting. And what is this? Nothing too much. Nothing relevant. Ow. Okay. 
What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Okay. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Yeah. A good 20 feet. And then he lands over there. And there's cats fighting in the alleyway. What's this? This mm. blood is a long way from the body. Car mm. must have been going like a bat out of hell. Yes, yes. Let's go check the alleyway. Maybe there's something down here that we don't know. It's a so I'm gonna cover like Ooh, where from? Bottle? What is that? Hmm. I don't think this is any use to us. No, neither is that bottle. Oh, you're really gonna make me do this for every single Not much help. Yeah, okay. Uh I wanna scour the dumpster. Yeah, that's gonna help. Nope. I like how he's like nope. Steak knife. What is this? What is that? Knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. No. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Hmm. I like that. I liked how we covered that. And lucky, lucky. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got? Hey, skid marks, skid marks. So the driver managed to break before the impact. This is, a uh, very interesting. Can we talk? Oh, wait, let's, let's see if there's... It's all yours, detective. Oh, looks like we're good. All right, hello. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Uh, can I get an eyewitness report? Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Oh my god. I love this voice. And then what happened? what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay, give me a vehicle description. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. And? Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Uh, argument. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? Yeah, why? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress. There goes the cats again. Things look pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People it's like seven in the morning. Come they on, were dude. husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. She was Into yelling. Things. Very embarrassing for the man. Ah, oh, she sounds like the sassy you, Southern sorry. Belle. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Sassy Southern Bell, holy dance, crap. Phelps. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Yeah, I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. What's this? Oh, like we're gonna do that. You know, and I and I did say that I wanted to do that, but I was just like, I'm Detective Phelps of the. I was LA just team. like, yeah, okay. How can I help, Detective? Detective. Hey, would be a good start. Dudley Lynch, hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where okay. is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson home. 
Okay. Hit and run incident. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Sure so about what that? What are doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. That's Is it really? We're having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Yeah, it was pretty ugly. What about the association? Do you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Uh, okay, we'll give him the truth Not on one this of your one. Favorite customers. Lester was special, but. Not my kind of special. Okay. Is Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Okay, argument? A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Benefit of the doubt. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo? The owner? Okay, what about the joint business? How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. You just served the drinks? Martin, hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? <laughs> when Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Okay, Thanks for your cool. help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Interesting. What can I do, detective? Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Oh, I should say putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks. I know you're Looks welcome. Like we got a break on this one. Okay, well... We'll need to check that. I guess... Hmm. I guess we can go to, uh... We can go to the Patterson residence. Who says we can't do that? Find anything interesting? Oh, wait, can I- I can talk to you? Wait, 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 come here, come here, come here. We'll check in with you. Okay, I'll get him onto a slab. Should have the report soon. Thanks. Okay, that's all he had to say. Perfect. Well... Uh, my partner can drive. What in the hell was that? Okay. Can you drive to this one? I hate driving. Driving sucks. I'm more I'm more used to like Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh crap, I gotta do uh from the fog too. I might do that tomorrow. Although I am working a event at the fire hall, so that'll be it'll it'll be cool. 4.36 a.m. Are you sure more like 7 or 8 in the morning by now? Eh, who knows. Is anyone up at 4 in the morning? I know I'm not. Well, maybe. That's a lie, actually. Sorry. <laughs> yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Hi. Is this about my husband? Yes. We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Hmm... 
Coming in one time. Can we? Can you tell me what happened? Okay, cool. What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. No. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. Okay. We got married that weekend. Okay. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. Yeah. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. Ooh. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? Yes. You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. Are you sure? You expect me to believe that? <laughs> Look, I was filing for divorce. <laughs> oh, Mental my cruelty. God. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about That's that. That's great. No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Give me the hit and run incident. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walks straight into the path of an oncoming car. Um, no. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Poor guy had no chance. Oh my god. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Eh. Admit it. Benefit of the doubt. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. Yes. All right. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Okay, what's the partnership? The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. That is such a lie. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Little man? What? A, what? Okay. Wait. Okay, time out. Time out. I want to say it's the insurance letter. It can't be... Okay, insure... We're going to go with it. You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Okay, Especially I think we got that dad. right. He was always getting into fights, crap games, pinochle, you name it. Pinochle? Turns out it was good advice. What the hell is pinochle? and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run, detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. <laughs> oh my god. Can we use this phone? You just slam the door on us? Or do I... Wait. Something's telling me I have to use the phone. Why is it telling me to use the telephone? Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? Messages, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Uh-oh. Thank you. Oh, uh, we're going to the morgue. All right. Well, you two have a blessed day. Where's the car? Okay, now we we gotta go to the morgue. Let's do the Shelton residence first. 
drive. You know the way. You can drive. He's so mean to his partner. You know the way you can drive. He's so mean. Like, cut him a break. Lucky break getting a partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Yes. Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. Right. Why do you have or your hazards on? The is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be. Dude, he just... He just... <gasps> Would you look at that? What do we got over here? A cup of haze? A cup of haze? We got you. Uh, we got it. Uh, we got it. Uh, the, uh... Got a thing over there. Oh, what do we got over here? What is this? Oh, do we chase after That's this guy? A bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident we've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene not to mention the physical damage this is open and shut shell Ooh, police pursue that coward thinks he can run from everything that's cool enough games phelps take this guy out I'm trying. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to do a pit maneuver. Play into his wheel arches. Come on. You know, I cost like fifty dollars. No driving like this. Don't let that asshole get away. I'm trying. Maybe if these officers would help me. Coincidentally, sitting at the station back there. What's up? Right, I give up. That's Hands it. behind your head. Tough men, we're done. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. Yes, it what was. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing. I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. So, do we go fault. to the morgue? I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Um, do we go to the morgue? Is that is that still a thing? Can we can we go to the morgue? Oh, thank God, we can actually go to the. I thought this mission was already done and over with. You can drive. I thought this mission was done and over with. I I was gonna say, oh my God. Thank God it's not over. We actually have to morgue. Okay. Sorry, I'm just checking my uh, notifications on Snapchat. Trying to see who's brave enough to snap me. Ah, yes, yes. The ambulance and the morgue? Oh, what kind of... Uh... Hmm. What kind of thing is this? Also, where... So we don't go in there. Do we go in here? We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run oh. that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? 
Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. <gasps> Murder one. Wow. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Yeah, let's bring her in. I don't know if YouTube's gonna make me blur out that part or whatnot, but like always, I do put the um, rating on the videos so people know if it's TV-14, then it's, you know, TV-14. Or if it's MA, mature audiences only. Oh, you're gonna make me drive? Okay, fine by me. Sorry about that, I just sneezed. Sorry for the instant mic um, cutout. First sweep of a crime scene. Well, uh, screw the law. We're gonna go code to the scene, of course. Sorry, we are not available. We have to take out this guy. Or girl, I should say. We're taking out the girl. We've got a wheeler and dealer in. Seven. Oh, 957? Okay, cool. He's like, ah, crap. <clears throat> or she's like, coroner, Mrs. Patterson. ah, crap. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with Where it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very Ooh. good, Lorna. Oh. Put the gun down. Oh. Leroy, if you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All oh, that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, had all shut the up. Banks is covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with think it. I'm gonna fry for you, He's Lorna? A crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake! Oh! Oh late, my so god! Well. Oh my god. Oh boy. And he's gonna start firing at me, stop, huh? Stop or I will shoot. No, for real. Damn, he sucks oh, at shooting. Move it. Down this alleyway here. Ooh. Are we gonna make a bargain or what? How long do you think you can hold out? Help me! <laughs> oh my god. You look spooked, Phelps. I'm not. I thought you've been under fire before. <laughs> it never gets any easier. Oh Kowski. my god. Ew, there's just... Uh, that was such an easy, like, call. I think we're on to the next case. Hope not, but we'll see. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. Yes. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Amen. So, is this the next case? <laughs> City damage. Over a hundred bucks? Two hundred? 
another visit another visit to raise and you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. Oh. Okay. I see, I see. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that does it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for the support from, from the fog. And I will catch you guys next Wednesday. Goodbye.